So we all know what the end game in Elden Ring is. PvP? Tough bosses? I don't think so. It's fashion, baby. And in this video, we're gonna check about six or so armor sets that look absolutely gorgeous. You can get quite early in the game, some pretty much at the start, which will give you the possibility to not look like a complete hobo when playing your favorite class. And by the way, if you enjoy the Elden Ring content on the channel, it would be super awesome if you left a like on this video. And even more important, if you wanna see more like this, a subscribe would definitely go along way so let's begin with the absolutely gorgeous clean rot armor set that you can get quite early on in the game it's a very heavy armor that you get from the inner sections of the swamps over in Kaelid. so you're gonna want to like even open up the teleport point right here into the inner part of that area but we're gonna be farming three knights that have a chance to drop pieces of this armor so if you want to like make this easier i will also give you a disclaimer you can use the blood splatter like ash of war that you can get from the mini boss in this fort on this side of the map so i definitely suggest that before proceeding now starting from that side of grace you're gonna head over just a little bit southwest onto this small kind of like island section right here and you should see the first spawn happening right in front of you so go ahead use the ability and if it drops anything go ahead and loot it if not we're gonna move on to the next one which is just a little bit further away to the left side the second one is going to spawn in a similar way again and using these abilities should make quick work of them and this one in this case already dropped something which it seems to be the side now the final one is going to be located just a little bit further away around this same island if it doesn't spawn just go ahead teleport back at the same side of grace and repeat the whole process and these are the three enemies that you will farm back to back until you get all of the pieces now it will take a while so don't get discouraged it took me about like 45 Five minutes to get the full set but it was totally worth it because i mean just look at this thing it looks so freaking gorgeous and of course if you want to see the stats on each individual piece here is how they stack it's a very heavy armor set that has a ton of resistances and a ton of damage negation so if you have something that has enough endurance this can be an amazing loadout right off the bat and of course also the weapons you get a rapier and a scythe which make for some pretty interesting weapons early on in the game now the next one is the twinned armor set which is exactly the same one that d the hunter uses back at the round table now there's multiple ways in which you can acquire this even including fighting d himself if you screw up the quest line but the way i got it was after finishing the three main boss in the game once you've done that you can go back back to the round table and talk to Fia right here in one of these side rooms and of course do the creepy hugs she eventually will exhaust her dialogues if you do this repeatedly and up until this point where she talks about a certain dagger the weather dagger that she also gives in your inventory so this is the point that is of interest to you because what you will do in this case is to bring that dagger back to D and talk about that dagger with him and once you've done that all you have to do is to teleport back at the round table and you're gonna find a new area opened in the back where D unfortunately will be sitting unconscious and well in this case completely and utterly dead and once you kind of do that you're gonna be able to loot the entire armor set from his body now there's a few other trigger points of course but what I recommend is to first finish his quest line and making sure that you do everything that he has to show you because there's some interesting bits in there too also relating to other characters in the same area of course you can probably triggered this way before the third boss but that's how it triggered for me and i've heard mixed reports over the internet but if you want to like see the stats on the armor this is how they look like again a more heavy type of armor that also has some pretty good stats early on and it also looks quite amazing with that thing sticking out of you so definitely something worth checking now moving on to number three the third one is going to be the carrion knight and of course the shield a more royal look for a more paladin kind of class if you want to go with something like that you have to go to the library pretty much which is going to be located right here this is pretty much the third main boss encounter in the game and it's quite easy accessible because it's early in that part of the game essentially starting from this cathedral right here you're gonna reach this sort of like graveyard area so what you want to do in this case is to just make your way through the graveyard and go past this bridge all the way into the next section right here and here you're gonna want to take on 
to the right side and there's going to be a gap in these walls and a place down that you can jump onto. Completely ignore all of these enemies and instead just grab the items right here next by this statue and you get the full carrion knight set right from the very start. Now I'm a huge fan of this set. It looks absolutely royal. It's also quite an early acquisition if you just like head over there and it comes with some pretty nice stats as you can see right now on the screen. You can also couple it with a carrion shield by the way that you find within the same area and it's quite unmissable. I don't want to spoil anything but on your way towards the main boss in this area you're going to reach another area before that with kind of like a summon so to speak that you have to defeat and they wear that shield and once you defeat them they will drop it and you're gonna be able to like just collect it and wear it on your paladin sort of character. But moving on to number four let's talk about the raptors black feather outfit that looks kind of amazing in my opinion and there's also a couple of weapons you can get it doesn't require anything in terms of storyline completion but there is a boss fight that you have to well clear before proceeding into the next area at least to my knowledge it's basically right here very up north pretty much way past the previous like library we talked about and you have to make your way through these ruins slash mine sort of thing make your way up use the ladders maybe even ignore the enemies and then pass even the main boss so that you can reach something called the sage's cave just for reference starting from that side of grace head over using this riverbed as a guide up until you reach the larger lake and from this point on keep on to the right side until you see a gap in the mountain and this is basically the cave area that you have to fight into now there's gonna be some enemies here that are pretty annoying but also a lot of hidden walls and luckily a lot of them are marked by previous players so just hit them pretty much anything that seems too flat to be a regular wall is going to hold a ton of chests. Many of them will give you useful items or consumables but the important part starts right after this section where you find some archers nearby. In the next room you're going to encounter three chests including two sitting out in the open and one hand behind one of these secret walls. Specifically the third chest will give you access to the raptor's talon right here and it's an amazing weapon that you can do a wield by the way but then you're gonna make your way towards this end area with the waterfall and jump over the obstacle. Once you're here, head over to the left side, hit the wall and these two chests will contain the two raptors black armor pieces right here with the head and the chest piece, which should be enough to pretty much cover most of your body. As you can see, it already looks amazing. I really like dark fantasy kind of characters and this fits the character so perfectly. Now the raptors talons are pretty amazing. You can again dual wield them and kind of look like Wolverine. They also seem to apply a lot of bleeds, pretty much 60 bits build up which is quite insane and also there's a interesting dodge attack when you use the weapon special ability where you can kind of like dash so to speak and outside of combat that can be used as a gap closer for example or just like move a little bit faster but in combat it's also pretty great so overall it makes you look really insane and really like agile with this set now if you want to complete this and make it look even more awesome there's a black wolf mask that you can also acquire to kind of look a bit like blade if you enjoyed that side character in um, yeah one of the early stages of the game essentially what you have to do is to head over right here at the Karia manor and also finish the end boss once you've done that, you will unlock the set of grace at the royal grounds right here towards the northwestern part of the manor and of course also an exit on that part which should bring you to the nearby graveyard. Simply head over south of that area on the road until you reach kind of like this depracted castle and especially we're gonna pay attention to this side of the wall that's fully climbable. And at the top of it you're going to notice there's a corpse which will give you access to the black wolf's mask. And in my opinion something that works perfect with this armor set right here it makes it look like 10 times more badass and probably one of the coolest like looks right now you can achieve in the game obviously there's some way better that will follow soon in a different video but that require a bit more work so these are a little bit easier in the meantime and on a final note this brings us to a really awesome looking armor set kind of like in the undead theme that you can find right here in the village of the albinoris I'm not really sure exactly how you pronounce that, but basically it's going to be located right here on this side of the map, easily reachable after you have defeated Godric. Essentially, you have to make your way from the nearby islands, from this side of the map towards the swamp, up until you see kind of like the archway that of course is the bridge from the village, but also these like crosses with bodies on them. And you will want to make your way to the top and then onto the left side, all the way at the top of the hill, maybe even fight a really annoying enemy nearby. Once you reach the top of 
of the hill, you're going to notice a pot here. Hitting it will reveal a secret character and speaking to them, they will give you access to a medallion and I think that this part is needed so that the next section becomes available so that you can get that armor set. Now in case this character is not here when you arrive, you might need to complete some invasions. For example, the first one is really close to the Murkwater cave right here by the river and also the same kind of like encounter that gives you the Reduvia dagger early on. The next one would be the Smoldering Church right here on this side of the map at the cross border with Kaled in case you reach this point. And the final one, you can even have an encounter back at the round table jumping on the lower section. There's gonna be somebody spawning at the back of the room and defeating them should in theory spawn the previous character to give you that medallion. Because once you get that medallion, you can head over back at the round table hold and you're gonna notice something peculiar, which is the fact that you get invaded the fourth time. Well, defeating this enemy is what you need to do and it's also the same character that sits by one of the rooms in the game. So for some reason he attacks you, but once you defeat them, you're gonna load back into the area and going back at the place they were sitting previously, you're going to get the full armor set, the royal remains, which looks something like this. I kind of like these intriguing looking undead sort of armors in the game, kind of changes things around, of course the aesthetics are really nice and it's again on the heavier side but definitely something worth checking, definitely not as heavy as some of the previous ones but also quite good early on in the game. Now of course there's gonna be a lot more to follow so if you enjoy the Elden Ring content it would be super awesome if you subscribe to the channel, we're trying to reach 400k subs by the end of 2022 and I think it would be possible but only with your help. And besides, you're gonna join an awesome community of people. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.